Morning everyone, I'm Jim Donovan with your morning digital news brief for Tuesday, October 8th. A woman was shot and killed outside of a store overnight and police say she was not the intended target. The shooting happened just after midnight. Police say a man got into a fight with two men inside of steak and beer near Somerset and Kensington. He left and as he walked away, he turned around and fired, hitting the woman who happened to be walking by. Police are still searching for the gunman. Classes are canceled today at St. Francis of Assisi School in Springfield Township, Delaware County, following this devastating fire. Firefighters spent the night putting out hot spots. The building uh, housed grades pre-K, first, and third. Other students attended classes in another building. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. A Wawa that's been serving customers for 50 years is set to close today. This Wawa on Route 70 east of Kings Highway in Cherry Hill opened way back in 1973. While the store has basic market offerings. It does not sell gasoline or have public restrooms. A plan to open a larger store across the street was met with harsh opposition from the community. All of the employees have been offered jobs at other Wawa locations. Now let's get a check of the next weather forecast. Here's meteorologist Kate Bilo. Hey Kate. Hey Jim, good morning. We've got a beautiful day underway here in Philadelphia. I want to start with the latest on Milton. Milton is a major hurricane, a very strong, powerful hurricane strengthening as we go through the course of today and then likely to weaken back to a category four hurricane possibly a category three before making landfall. As of right now, it looks like late Wednesday night, <clears throat> excuse me, into early Thursday morning, just over the Tampa area. If this landfall track holds, it would be the first major hurricane to have a direct hit on the Tampa area in over a century. And this could mean devastating storm surge flooding 10 to 15 feet of storm surge. That is second story flooding for homes and businesses may be destroyed as well. We will continue to monitor this very dangerous storm. It will not impact our area. High pressure in control, keeping us sunny and dry. Today is a beautiful October day, 70 degrees, mostly sunny, upper 60s down the shore and in the Lehigh Valley. And it's a nice night if you're making the trip up to Queens for the Phillies. Game three of the NLDS taken on the Mets at 508. A beautiful evening there in your next seven days from next weather. Crisp and cool by the end of the week. Then we warm back to the 70s for the weekend. Jim, I'll send it back to you. Looks fantastic. Thank you, Kate. And remember, you can always get Kate's most up to date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhiladelphia.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Jim Donovan. Make it a great day.